Hello everyone, my name is Benam Radari and today I'm presenting our paper called COVEX, an exploratory search system for COVID-19 scientific literature. As I'm presenting this paper, we are still in the middle of a global pandemic which affects everyone's life one way or another. Despite all the global efforts and commitment, the research on the vaccine is still in progress. Every day, more and more researchers publish their work to help the process, and this will add to the already large archive of research in this domain. However, when the number of publication uh, reaches a certain point, uh, finding the exact required information will become more and more difficult, and some important publication might be missed by a researcher in the process. On the other hand, the problem of finding relevant research is not limited to only a researcher in the field. Many individuals are also curious about the virus and want to have access to reliable scientific information, but the sparsity and inaccessibility of these resources make them uh, to rely on what being shared on social media, which most of the time results in more confusion. So we at the University of Pittsburgh, like many other researchers around the world, uh, wanted to do our best to solve one of many problems that caused by this pandemic. So we decided to build an exploratory search system to help user to have an easier access to the publication related to COVID. To do that, we combined the idea of exploratory search with a number of critical technologies such as graph powered network, concept extraction, user modeling, etc., to make a powerful tool that satisfied the need of both experts and novice users. We tried to build a system that enabled users to pinpoint to the exact type of information they need and learn new concepts and vocabulary while they perform the search. We also tried to explain why and how the results are relevant to the search query using simple and easy to understand visualization. So in the rest of this presentation, I'll explain how we build the different element of the system and how they all work together. Let me start by one of the most important parts of every exploratory search system, the interface. This interface is centered around the user interest profile that here is shown as a set of a slider. The exploration process starts at the top of the screen where the search box is located. Unlike traditional search that require user to specify all keywords in a query, COVEX supports user in the process of gradual discovery and refinement of their interest. When a user starts typing a query, a series of frequent similar keywords appears, which help the user to discover a range of matching topics. The selected keyword by user then will be added to the interest profile where they can be tuned using the sliders. Sliders basically specify the importance of each keyword uh, in the final results and can be assigned to a value between one and 10. Another feature that help user in the process of exploration is similar keyword area. Uh, when at least one keyword is added to the user profile, a series of five semantically similar topic appear that can then directly add it as a main keyword. To support more novice users, the system also provides a short description of each keyword uh, from the Wikipedia. The results are presented as a ranked list uh, with an expandable area that shows the abstract. Keywords in the interest area are highlighted in the text, which act as a simple visual clue for relevancy. Other keywords that are presented in the text but not in the user profile are marked by underline and can be added directly by the user. Finally, a stack bar visualization in the left side shows the relevancy of each result with the profile. Color, size, and transparency of these bars are all indicator of, uh, the, of the why the results are relevant to the query. To populate the interface, we use uh, one of the most reliable collection of COVID-related publication, CORD19, which has uh, more than 51,000 documents. As you saw earlier, the interface is heavily rely on the key phrases uh, that are extracted from the text. So we used a sequence labeling with by LSTM 
and CRF architecture to extract meaningful key phrases from the publication. The relevancy between the key phrases and document also calculated separately using embed rank, which is basically the cosine similarity between the key phrase embedding and the document embedding. Since these two approaches were not uh, the main contribution of this research. I'm not going through the details of how they work, although the brief description of this is presented in the paper. Having all the key phrases extracted and weighted, uh, we use a native graph database, Neo4j, to build a knowledge graph that captures all the available information in the dataset. The graph structure is very straightforward and presents the relationship between the key phrases, papers, and authors. To generate the results, we calculate the relevancy score of each publication to the user profile using this formula. It basically consider both the similarity score between keywords and publication, as well as the value of a slider, which is assigned by the user. For new keyword recommendation, uh, we take into account the co-occurrence of two keywords in different paper, as well as the co-author relationship and uh, author's area of research. Despite the simplicity, the graph plays an important role by generating the search results and recommendation without the need for training and returning a model after each update in the dataset. The COVEX system is currently online and accessible freely for everyone. So if you want to give it a try, here's the URL. Uh, you can also find the link uh, to the system in the paper. In summary, we build an exploratory search system with a simple and easy to understand interface that can help both experts and novice users to explore uh, the scientific literature related to COVID-19. We're planning to build a pipeline that can update the graph information more frequently, so uh, the information presented in the system will be always up to date. And finally, if you're actively working on improving our knowledge uh, on keyword extraction mechanism, and uh, if there's someone in the audience that can think of a better extraction method, we'll be happy to collaborate with you uh, in this project. Uh, thank you for your attention.